Israel's aerial and ground attacks on the besieged Gaza Strip continue for the 22nd consecutive day. At least 120 people have lost their lives today. A UN-requested 24-hour humanitarian ceasefire has been rejected by both sides. The ongoing war and the severe damage it has led to a humanitarian crisis in the besieged territory. Here's more. The death toll in the Gaza Strip is rapidly on the rise as Israel continues to pound the region by air, land and sea for the 22nd consecutive day. Israeli forces increased their aerial and ground attacks on the besieged territory after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu threatened Gaza with an escalation on Monday night. I totally agree with Ayatollah Khamenei that what we are witnessing is uh, Israeli genocide. And I think the truth is, having watched uh, Netanyahu uh, perform last night, I think he has effectively said to Obama and the whole world, go to hell. Nobody can stop us. At least 120 people were killed on Tuesday alone in Israeli airstrikes. Over a dozen of those killed lost their lives in a single Israeli attack that targeted a house in Khan Yunis. That family was targeted and 17 of its members were killed. This crime comes after only a few hours after the targeting of children at a beach refugee camp, where the number of children alone killed is 11. Attacks were also carried out in other areas, including Gaza City and Rafah, killing over 15 others. The death toll in Gaza is expected to further rise as hopes for reaching a UN-requested 24-hour humanitarian truce have been dashed. Tel Aviv was quick to reject the proposal announced by an official in the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Hamas spokesman Sami Abu Zohri has also brushed off the idea of any unilateral ceasefire, saying the resistance movement will only study the truce once Israeli forces stop killing Palestinian children. Official reports show that about a fourth of those killed in the Gaza Strip so far are children. Considering women and the elderly, civilians make up 80 percent of the fatalities. According to Israeli media, 22 days of war has so far left three civilians and over 50 soldiers dead on the Israeli side. More than 120 are said to be hospitalized for injuries. Hamas, however, has put the number of Israeli fatalities at about 100. Experts have been speaking of a humanitarian catastrophe in the Gaza Strip as the war on the besieged territory continues. Medical teams say they're in dire need of medical supplies and equipment. With two hospitals targeted in recent days, the situation is expected to worsen unless the international community intervenes. We are unable to deal with the many injured and killed people in Gaza. Our freezer is full. Uh, the medical system in Gaza in need of medications, uh, life-saving medications. Right now it is dispersed and blockades from the Egyptian side, from the Israeli side. Uh, we are unable to get any medications. Civilians in Gaza are also struggling to get by, as food and clean water have become scarce and prices are rising. With homes and infrastructure severely damaged and Gaza's sole power plant that was operating on a reduced level shelled once again, it could take Gazans longer than expected to get their lives back on track, even after the war ends. Let's talk to Press Reviews, Hisham Mahan, our correspondent in Gaza. Hisham, over to you. Tell us uh, what are the recent developments on the ground as we speak. Uh, the most important thing actually just uh, popped out that the Al Qassam Brigade are having a speech in a few minutes from now. Uh, we are we are still expecting what what are they are going to announce in this speech. But uh, this speech actually comes after uh, uh, several news speaking about any uh, possible uh, ceasefire coming uh, uh, on the ground in Gaza Strip. Uh, 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 the Israeli media on uh, Channel Seven said that a high uh, uh, official in, in in the government said that Israel is about to accept the ceasefire on a, a 2012 uh, basis. Uh, this is the most important thing. So we are still expecting this speech and what's going to come. Uh, a few minutes before that, uh, uh, another raid, another bombardment over a house in Rafah resulted in one uh, man killed and 
uh, several casualties and the uh, uh, emergency staff could collect out of uh, under the rubbles of that house uh, uh, many many civilians including three children uh, the death toll now exceeded uh, 1219 people killed since the beginning of this uh, uh, barbaric offensive and more than 7000 people injured uh, uh, the situation in Gaza Strip on the uh, environmental basis is getting uh, uh, um, closer to a crisis as the, the power station has stopped uh, entirely. And uh, uh, earlier, like two hours from now, the Israeli uh, jet fighters bombarded uh, uh, a water, water, water pump uh, station in uh, uh, to the south of the Gaza City. So the people have no electricity and may have no water too, no drinking water. Uh, or washing water or, uh, or no water at all. So this is the situation now. All right, Press TV's Hisham Mahana reporting from Gaza. Thanks, Hisham.